Uh, try and keep this one fairly short, but a few weeks ago I uh, used a good chunk of my tax return to get some more marine fish and some gear. So let's do a quick little update. Um, mostly I got peppermint shrimp and troca snails because I wanted more of a clean up crew in here in the other marine tank. So yeah, most of them are in here, but some are in the other. I uh, got a coral banded shrimp as well. Yeah, got the double saddle back there. Uh, some more chromies or chromis. I'm not sure which way you meant to say it. Uh, I did get a red forest fire BTA anemone. Last I saw it was under this rock, but now I'm not seeing it, so who knows? Oh, I thought I saw it for a sec. Um, got some barrier reef clowns. A uh, new wave maker because I wanted the magnetic one for here, except it's magnet's barely strong enough. But it's still is strong enough to keep it there, so it does the job. Um, did I mention the coral bended shrimp? I did see him yesterday under here. Oh, yeah. I don't think he's going. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's, it does show on the camera. But you can see him just to the left of the center a bit there. Um, I actually noticed a, uh, what do you call it, shell? Not shell, um, well him I think is molting, or has molted rather, uh, shedded skin. That or one of the peppermints did, but I think it was him because it was like right near the front here I saw it. Um, I believe that's about all for that tank. Take his out to the other one. Now it's not in a proper spot at the moment because we're uh, changing a bit around in here. But I replaced the Ocellaris that jumped and I got a couple of black and white ones as well. But, um, oh, there it is. Oh, I got some live copods too and I'll put a bit of them in both tanks so hopefully they'll do their thing. And huh. Look at that, a peppermint shrimp's actually out for once. Even in this tank, I found they like to just hide away mostly, like right in the rocks where you can barely see them and you have to really look for them. Ah, oh, didn't show it while I was out there, but I've set up a <laughs> DIY refugium in the sump. Uh, so that's about it going on for that. Yeah, we just got this new heavy duty shelf. Hang on, there we go. So yeah, uh, we got some two foot tanks for free actually because they got cracks, but we've patched them up so they should be okay. Uh, Dad's getting the rest of the plumbing for it today. Uh, probably Sunday we'll be working on that, trying to get it up and running. But we've got the old sump from my marine tank down there, plus this canister I picked up cheap yesterday. So we'll probably divide it into two systems, I think. Got to sort out lighting as well. Because we have some lights like these, but they're a bit thick. Um, Maltese are breeding well. Princess cichlids, yes, they have only worked out one of them's disappeared. I'm assuming it's jumped at some point because it was a bit beat up and getting bullied by this one. So I'm not sure if I want to get more of them and try and breed them again or what I do with this guy. Maybe I'll sell them in my... A F uh, L F O L F S. So I was mixing his actual name up with the thing. Yeah. So this free bay tank, and well, this will get switched to one of the little tanks, but they're going to be on the rack. I've actually, already got some of the plumbing on there to join them up, but we might change that up a bit. Uh, he's getting rid of his cich uh, convict cichlids. There's still some fry now though. I'm not sure what we're going to do with them. Yeah, everything's going well there. Um, Longfin bristlenose have been breeding a little bit, but not heaps. I actually just found one of my adults dead the other day, which is a shame. Um, I've got them growing out over here now. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's an albino at the back. 
regular near the filter. There's, oh yeah, there's one of the bigger ones from the previous. Oh, we can't really see him. He's like right in behind the heater. I haven't got a good angle, so I don't know what he's seeing right now. But yeah, there was a few of them I left in from the last batch just because I didn't catch them and I had plenty there already. Oh, there's another. Ah, oh, missed him. Oh, no. So they're starting to look all right now. Uh, but yeah, for that refugium I mentioned, it's just a uh, egg crate and uh, one of those Dymax clip-on lights that runs on USB. I need to get more Chato though. Oh yeah, there's an albino fry from the last batch I couldn't catch in here. And I'll show off something while I'm here. I've just got a 3D printer last week. And before that, I actually had this idea. For now, I'm just calling it the Multi Cave until I can come up with a better name, if I do. But, uh, yeah, instead of using shells that you cannot get the fish out of, like your Multis and other shell dwellers, just that. Now, this one looks a little dodgy because um, I'm still learning to 3D print and figuring out my settings. Uh, this one had a lot of stringing. And I actually had to trim a bit out of here because it was just not printed properly. Yeah, I've already got my LFS interested in selling them. Um, well, I think that's it. I mean, it's not really worth showing you. It's the DIY Refugium. You just can picture it. It's looks hideous, but it's hidden away in the sump, so who cares? These guys are just about ready to sell too, I think, or some of them anyway. I've got to talk to another one of the local stores about that. They were interested in them, but I've got to give them a heads up so they can make sure they got a tank free. Yeah, give us a quick look at the six foot wire um, I'm a bit concerned about my discus too, actually. I think I was underfeeding them, I figured out, so I started giving them more. But uh, two of them are looking really bad. Oh yeah, the um, regular bristlings are breeding too. I've been noticing fry in here the last few days, scattered throughout the tank. <coughs> yeah, that's the now, as you can see, they're really dark and... Um... <coughs> Sorry, I just choked on nothing. Uh, yeah, not looking good in general. Hopefully they bounce back, but if they don't, I think I might get out of discus. I mean, sure, I've managed to breed them, but it's a uh, huge hassle and pretty much no payoff. I mean, I haven't been able to sell any because out of the one time I successfully bred them, I only had three actually last. I think one of these is actually them, or maybe two of them. I'm not sure if it's they're both the kids or if uh, one of them's the dad. Anyway, hopefully they bounce back, but see what happens. Right, and see you in the next video.